Hi, everybody. I am anxiously waiting for HSN to come on to see of the price on the new Gemini Mini. So I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys while we're waiting for that. Um, so I've been obsessed lately with fairies, and I tried to pick up some fairies from the last stamp show I went to, and um, they didn't have any. So I did order some from So Susie Stamps, but the reason I've been obsessed with fairies is I've been watching the Lavinia um, videos on Facebook, L-A-V-I-N-I-A, -I -I -A, and she does some great techniques with Jelly Plate and her fairies. So we're gonna play around here. I have some Nina Solar White cut down to five and three and three quarters. Um, I got this jelly plate last year, I believe at Blick Art Store. It's a little jelly plate. It's um, three by five. I think I've used it once, but after watching her videos, I thought, okay, I gotta give this a try. So I'm just gonna take one side of the backing off here. And I had some various stamps. Now I know Tupelo Designs carry some of the Lavinia fairy stamps, but they seem to be sold out of everything right now, so I'll just keep checking back. And they have free shipping, so that's why I'm waiting. And I have some Distress Inks here in Tumbled Glass, Victorian Velvet, and Milled Lavender. So let's try this out here. You guys, this is my first video on this. So what I'm doing is just rolling it onto the, the ink onto the brayer, moving the brayer one direction. I'm not going back and forth. I'm lifting the brayer and continuing to move it here. And I'm gonna put this on the bottom. And I know it's really light and hard to see, but I think the distress inks will work out because they stay wet a little longer. I have other inks here, so if it doesn't work, then we'll move on. Okay, the next color we're gonna do is Milled Lavender. Again, just rolling it on, not even cleaning my brayer off. I know you guys can't see, but I can see little water droplets on the jelly plate. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in frame there. And then the last one is Victorian Velvet. see how this works I think I want the yeah, the darker one at the top all right now she does do some stamps and I just grabbed some little stamps here that I thought would look cute some stamping blocks here okay and I'm gonna use for this little stamp this came out of a retired Stampin' Up set I'm using this little flower right here since I couldn't order any stamps I'm gonna use what I have and use some inks here. This is the Gina K Fresh Asparagus ink I just got. I guess I should look at the fairy and see how which way it goes. Okay, so that's gonna stamp there. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp it onto the paper and then stamp the fairy onto the paper once I'm done here. All right, so here we go, guys. You'll have to excuse my daughter over there playing with her kitchen, it's kind of loud. All right, the big reveal. Uh, there you can see all the water droplets. So I really don't like that, guys. I'm gonna try a second pass. I like the two lighter colors. Um, I have some My Favorite Things ink here. Let's try that. I like the way the blue came out. I don't like the Victorian Velvet. Let's try the Tumbled Glass again. And I'm going to try some of this My Favorite Things. Um, what's the name of this one? Periwinkle. All 
All right, and I have the, I'm going to, um, I'm going to use the back side of this. No, I'm not because it has ink all over it. I'll grab a fresh piece of paper here. Oh, that came out pretty neat. That's a little better. Let's try this. All right, now let's stamp that flower in green on here. Oops. And we'll cut this down to fit. Oops. Lots of klutzy moments here. And I'm going to try this little... background so I have some gray ink here this is hero arts soft granite ink and this is a new stamp so I'm gonna stamp it off a little bit I'm actually gonna sand this down it's this a silicone stamp I'm just using my mono sand eraser to just sand this stamp down because this is a silicone stamp and it's brand new and it's kind of resisting the ink here. All right, try that again. Leah, you're making it sound like a hospital room in here. Beep, 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 beep. Can you stop please just for a minute? Thank you. <laughs> All right, that transferred pretty nicely. All right, and then the fairy I'm gonna do in black Versafine. And this is the little fairy I got from So Susie Stamps. here what else can we add she did have oh here's one here's a little one I can probably put on this side I think that's pretty cute. I'm going to cut this down with a framelit, um, like a stitch frame. There we go. Stamp this in black. And then mat that and put that on a card. All right, let's do another one. That one came out pretty cute. All right, so the other stamp I got, I put in with my Hero Arts kit because it's a little fairy sitting on a moon. Let's use some darker colors for this. Okay, here's our jelly plate. I'm gonna go to the darker colors here. Let's see here. Let's 
let's do the milled lavender again, but maybe I just won't put as much down. Do that on one side. And then we'll do the My Favorite Things ink on the other side. Okay. Got my cardstock here. down on the middle there. One of the things you can also use jelly plates for is mirror stamping. So if you don't like the direction that it's in, you could um, stamp it onto the jelly plate and then use the jelly plate as a stamp. I haven't tried that yet, but I would imagine that would work out. transfer oh, that's so nice all right now I want to do a little bit of a border stamp on there I'm just gonna stamp this is a French writing hero art stamp this one I've had for quite a while and I'm just gonna do the edges with this hero art soft granite ink some stars. Let's see here. We get some stars out of here. Oh yeah, we have like a swirl stamp here. And this is out of the Hero Arts kit. I'm sorry it is sold out. But there's like this couple of these magical star things here. the my favorite things in the purple and the lavender I know that's kind of hard to see using the Distress Ink Milled Lavender. Alright, and I don't have like I don't like how the edges are white, so I'm gonna get, grab a distress ink tool here. 
come in and just do the outside and darken that up a little bit. Ooh, I think it gives it a much more ethereal look to it. Now it's starting to look like a fairy card. Here we go. So I think now it just needs some kind of a sentiment. How about uh, life is but a dream? And we'll use our versifying in black again. to finish this one off we need to add some shimmer to it because you can't have a cosmic card without some shimmer so I have my little spray box going to use the Imagine Crafts Shimmer Spritz Spray, which has a little bit of silver mica in it. The Hero Arts Kit did come with some gold shimmer, but it's very thick, and I feel it would overpower everything. So I think this is just enough of a light shimmer, light sparkle to make it look cute. There is the second one. So two cute little fairy cards using the brayer. This one I think will fix up a little bit as well. I'll use some of the lighter purple on this one. Let's add some of that French script on there too. Do that in gray as well. There we go, kind of finishes it off. Now we have two completed card panels using a jelly plate, using some stamps and inks, and your imagination. And now all we have to do is mat these and put them on a card, and we have some cute fairy cards. So I hope that gives you guys some inspiration. Again, um, check back to Tupelo Designs LLC. They do have some of the Lavinia stamps. Um, and also So Susie Stamps has some fairy stamps. And check out the Lavinia Facebook page um, for more inspiration. That's where I got my inspiration. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping.